Hey, what is up guys? It is Jed. Today I'm going to be discussing why Season 6 is in such an important spot right now and why they cannot mess this one up. Season 5 was an absolute train wreck after a few weeks. It took time for people to figure out the meta, and during Season 5, they cracked down on building unlike ever before. They added a lot of counters to building and substantially nerfing building itself. The spray meta was introduced and still lingers about. At this point in the Fortnite community, everyone has at least something bad to say about the game. Even if they aren't on board with the whole Fortnite is dying train, I've seen almost everyone be critical about something involving Fortnite. That's very important because this game used to not be like this. For those that weren't around in Season 2, this game used to be sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, it had its problems, and a lot of them actually, but people didn't care. They were so blinded by the love they had for this game. Side ramps were a huge problem, Bloom was still there, trees, light posts, and fences still blocked your building, but people didn't complain like they do now. It shows that the Fortnite community has had an attitude shift towards this game. The overall community morale has tanked. Everything Epic does seems to upset someone. I don't see the optimism from the players that used to exist in the game. So my question of the day is, do you think the majority of players will stick around if Season 6 is perceived significantly worse than Season 5? Keep in mind, Fortnite is about to have a lot of competition as well. People are going to have other things to play. We've been sitting in a game drought for a while. I mean, you kind of get put in a place where you tell yourself, well, all there really is to play is Fortnite, so I might as well play Fortnite. That's a genuine question, answer it down below. Do you think players will stick around if Season 6 is worse than Season 5? My personal answer, I think they will stick around for Season 6, but I don't think this is going to last many more seasons. I think Epic seriously needs to shape up or their game is going to suffer dramatically. For this video, I want to run through exactly what I believe they should do for Season 6 that could seriously make a statement and show that this team really cares about the integrity of their game. First, I want to run through weapon balance and optimizing the weapon roster. This one's very important to me, so I'm going to run through literally every single weapon in the game. Okay, so here we are at the weapons. Uh, first one up, Hamas, totally fine, keep it in the game. As for the white to blue burst rifle, I think this needs to be reworked like the Save the World one. And if you don't play Save the World, the one in there is semi-automatic and it focuses on being accurate and rewards precision. I think that's how it needs to be in Battle Royale. I think we need an early game weapon that rewards precision. And the burst is kind of awkward in general because this game is all about first shot accuracy and this gun shoots three bullets at once. It's kind of awkward, doesn't really belong with the shooting model. So I think they need to rework it and make it a semi-automatic weapon, focuses on first shot accuracy and strafing while shooting, maintaining accuracy and like rewarding the player with good aim rather than someone who opts for an automatic and just sprays. That's what I think they should do to this weapon. Kind of ambitious, probably won't happen. As for the automatics, I think they're fine. I think there's too many tiers, but the way the looting system works, it doesn't really bother me. If you were to open a chest and roll an assault rifle, like an assault rifle is going to drop, after it determines that an automatic is going to drop, it also rolls for rarity afterwards. So it's not five individual items in the loot pool. It's one individual item. And then after you roll that one item, it rolls for rarity. And it can drop anywhere from white to gold. What you're seeing here is one item in the game. This is one potential drop out of a chest. It just rolls for rarity afterwards. Scoped Assault Rifle, favorite weapon in the game. You guys know this is my baby, so I have some bias here. I'm fine with this gun being in the game. Light Machine Gun, Vault It, get it out of the game. Does not take a brain to use. Absolutely destroys the game's skill gap. The Minigun, get rid of the purple one for the same exact reason as the LMG. Destroys the game's skill gap, but I do believe there needs to be something to counter building. So make it a minigun, make it very rare for a casual player to get his hands on and just win the game. I'm trying to be generous to both sides here. Suppressed Assault Rifle, you guys know how I feel about this gun. Really like it. They need to make more guns like this that focus on precision rather than spraying. Thermal Scoped Rifle, I personally don't like it. It's so rare and I think the scoped AR is just way better. I think the game could benefit from vaulting this weapon. Double barrel shotgun, vault it, get it out of the game. It does not take arms to use. You give this thing to someone who just downloaded the game and they're gonna body at least 10 people before they leave their first town. Heavy shotgun is fine. I think it's in a really good spot right now. Pump is in a terrible spot right now. I think the base damage is fine. Rarity is fine. However, it's 2.0 headshot multiplier needs to be bumped to 2.5, just like the heavy. A green pump shotgun, after hitting a perfect headshot, can max out at 200 damage, insta-killing anyone. If you hit a perfect headshot with a pump, you should insta-kill someone. That's just me. The body shot multiplier is fine. I don't think you should hit someone 90 for early game for not being precise and hitting your headshot. Also, season one and two swap time, the pump desperately needs that right now. 
It's balanced for double pump when it shouldn't be because double pump's kind of not in the game. Tactical shotgun, I think it's in a great spot right now. I don't think it needs to be touched at all. The dual pistols, I think they need to be vaulted. While they are really strong, they absolutely tear through buildings and people. I just don't see people using them. I really don't. They use AR ammo and they can't really double as an AR because they're just way too inconsistent. They have, they have a pretty bad cone of fire. Their damage drop off is pretty bad. They have zero first shot accuracy. Hand cannon, I suppose it's fine. The only time I ever really use this is early game when I get one out of a chest and I have to then hit the most important shot of my life so I can pick up an actual weapon. Pistol, I suppose it's fine because every battle royale needs good and bad drops. These bad drops are going to change up your run and make you adapt to like what you have found. So pistol, it's good. Every battle royale needs it. They just need terrible drops. But I think a shotgun should be significantly more common than a pistol. Rest in peace revolver. Can I get a rip in chat for the revolver? Suppressed pistols, sure, it's fine. I'm indifferent, I don't really care about this weapon. Compact SMG, unpopular opinion, but I think it's terrible. <laughs> I actually think the compact SMG is a terrible gun, so I don't care if it stays in the game or not. Personally, I would like it vaulted because I like more space on the weapon roster. Now for these two, they need to pick a side and get rid of the other one. We do not need six white to blue tiered SMGs in the game. Personally, would want the suppressed submachine gun over the regular one because it actually has a reasonable cone of fire and rewards accuracy rather than inaccuracy. Now for the snipers, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't see why we have this many snipers that all accomplish the same thing. And that's if you hit a headshot, you get a kill, you know, outside of these, of course. I think there needs to be a green semi-auto sniper, a blue hunting rifle, a purple bolt action, and a golden heavy. All others need to be taken out of the game. There's no reason we need that many snipers that all accomplish the same exact thing. As for explosives, outside of guided missile, I think guided missile needs to be vaulted. There's no reason to have it in the game. It's a really, really bad weapon. Even back when people said it was overpowered, I thought the guided missile was absolutely terrible. It was so unbelievably weak. As for the other two explosives, there only needs to be golden variants of them, exclusive to supply drops, no more early game rocket mains that got lucky because they got a blue rocket out of a chest. So that wraps it up for the weapons. That's where I stand on them. I think we definitely need to optimize this weapon roster. There's so many useless weapons on it right now. Okay, so as for the other part of the loot table, like throwables and stuff like that, I think the clinger needs to be vaulted. I don't like the fact that you can stick three to a wall and insta-kill someone. I think impulses can stay. They do require some skill to be able to pull off. Boogie Bomb needs to be vaulted. I think it's really useless, but when paired with like a double barrel, I think it's really strong. Doesn't take a lot of skill to use at all. Remote explosives, huge counter to building. I don't think it needs to be in the game at all. Portafort, really useless. No one really uses it. Vault that as well. You guys already know how I feel about the grappler. Stink bomb, I don't even know how that got in the game. Vault the stink bomb. Vault the Porta Fortress. It blows my mind that with how people see the Porta Fort and how many people use the Porta Fort, why would they add a Porta Fortress? The Rift to Go is pretty good. They can keep that in the game. It's a great positioning tool. It doesn't really set you up for cheap kills. And lastly, I think they need to vault the bush. I'm not quite sure why that thing is still in the game. Next, I believe they should do something about building. I understand they're trying to keep the game fresh and they didn't want season three building to dominate this season. But at some point, you've got to realize that building is the reason this game is successful and yields the biggest skill gap. I would rather someone counter building with more building than a minigun or a single C4 charge. A 200 health wall was fine to me. They held up long enough to still be able to push someone sitting on high ground. You couldn't just spray them down and they couldn't spray you down. You couldn't grapple on top of them. You had to outbuild to outplay, and that's where the game needs to be. I don't know if Epic would want 200 health wood walls again, or just bump material gain to compensate for the fact that walls and ramps are incredibly weak right now. All I know is something needs to be done about building in Season 6. Give something to your dedicated player base that took the time to master your mechanics, allow them to feel rewarded for once. The next one is kind of small, but I think Fortnite could use this. I think they need to add the playground ATK spawners to the main map. I believe these cars should be available everywhere to increase the pacing of the match. I'm all for increasing the speed of the game, and I was a little confused when it was exclusive to the new locations. Allow me to land wherever and still be able to chase kills. Obviously, they're going to have a lot of content planned, but I believe it's imperative at this point to really reflect on the product you've created and the past content you've added and really question its place in the game. Epic needs to stop hyper-focusing on building and nerfing it like it's still in Season 3, which was fine, by the way. The sort of behavior I've seen from this studio has me really worried, and if they continue down this same path, I just really hope that the story the Season 6 map tells and the weekly challenges give players the incentive to keep logging in, because I can confidently say that the gameplay won't. My name is Jed, thank you for listening, peace out everybody.